Hi, my name is Andrei Osuchuk. Today I would like to talk about conversion variables, also known as EVARs. I'm doing an audit of the Adobe Analytics implementation on the Spark Asset website. In this video, you will get to know one of the common mistakes of implementing this type of variables. A few words about conversion variables. When a value is populated in an EVAR, that value persists for a certain time period. This works similar to cookies, but in this case, this is, uh, let's say, backend cookies. And the value persists for a certain time period, and the time period can be configured on the backend of Adobe Analytics. By default, this is a visit, but it also can be set for a certain number of days, or the value can expire after a certain event that will be fired on the page. Uh, one of the most frequently used conversion report is the campaign report. The campaign report is used to understand the performance of your marketing channels, marketing campaigns. And for example, when somebody comes to your website from a campaign ABC, you want to understand how much traffic you got from that uh, channel on that or that campaign, uh, what the traffic did on your website. And for example, you could see a thousand visitors came from the campaign ABC, uh, 200 visitors viewed a product page, then hundreds of those visitors added something to the shopping cart, then 30 visitors of those placed an order, and 10 visitors of those who placed an order actually bought something or paid uh, the order. And now you can see the amount of revenue, you can see the amount, the, the, the number of orders and many more metrics. And all of them will be linked to that ABC campaign. That is a value in your conversion report. So hope uh, this clarify what the conversion variables are and you also understand the purpose of them. Now let's see how the conversion variables are implemented on the Spark Us uh, website. And this is the home page, and during this video I will be looking at three variables, which are 44, 46, and 47. Uh, the current values are set to undefined, which is undefined, and these variables are used for tracking the content group, content goal, and content type respectively. Now I will go further and switch to another page where these variables are populated. And this is this uh, page. And let's see what values we have. So now the idea is uh, if, these variables, if these variables are populated here, then uh, the analysts or business stakeholders wanted to know what events uh, happened for those visitors who visited this particular page, which is an article that is used for reputation purposes and for the articles that are under the group, which is called Unser Nutzen für Wirtschaft and Gesellschaft. Now let's see what will happen if a visitor will click through to another page from this page. For example, a visitor can click on this call to action and we'll need to wait for a while and finally we're on another page and we can see that these three variables have been overwritten with the undefined value again, which means that if I do something from this particular moment going forward, those actions will be tied up to the undefined value instead of the values that were set on the previous page. And let me get back and I will also click to another CTA that is available on this page. So for example, I will click on this, uh, on this banner. Okay, and again, if we check the variables, we can see that they are again are populated with the undefined value. And this is a mistake of the implementation. 
because usually you want to use the evars if you want the values persist for a certain time period so usually at least this is a visit but in our case what we can see that uh, basically these reports are uh, the reports related to these variables will be usually i think useless since all the metrics or majority of the metrics will be tied up to the undefined uh, values in those reports how would the correct implementation look like Instead of populating the undefined value or undefined value, you should always uh, populate the variables with a blank value. In this case, the values that were populated on the previous pages will never be overwritten with undefined. And it's not clear what was the purpose of using the undefined value because it doesn't make sense at all. So this is... Uh, this is the summary of this video. When you have a value populated into in evar, when you do not have a value, do not populate it or keep the keep the variable with a blank value. Hope this video was helpful for you and if so, click the like, share your comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do this right now and uh, click the bell icon to not miss new video uploads. Thank you for watching.